you mentioned that you used to do research at night and go to bed at like 6 a.m. or 7 a.m. I still do that often. Um, what uh, sleep schedules have you tried to make for a productive and happy life? Like, is there um, is there some interesting wild sleeping patterns that you engage that uh, you found that works really well for you? I tried at some point decreasing number of hours of sleep, like a gradually, like a half an hour every few days to less. You know, I was hoping to just save time. Yeah. Uh, that clearly didn't work for me. Like at some point, uh, there's like a phase shift and I felt tired all the time. Uh, you know, there was a time that I used to work during the nights. The nice thing about the nights is that no one disturbs you. And um, even I remember when I was meeting for the first time with uh, Greg Brockman, his CTO and chairman of OpenAI, our meeting was scheduled to 5 p.m. And I overstepped for the meeting. Mm -hmm. Overslept for the meeting yeah. at 5 p.m., yeah. Now you sound like me, that's hilarious, okay, yeah. And uh, at the moment, in some sense, uh, my sleeping schedule also has to do with the fact that I'm s interacting with people. I sleep without an alarm. So, <laughs> so yeah, the, the team thing you mentioned, the extrovert thing, because most humans operate during a certain set of hours you're forced to then operate at the same set of hours. But I'm not quite there yet. I found a lot of joy, just like you said, working through the night because it's quiet, because the world doesn't disturb you. And there's some aspect counter to everything you're saying. There's some joyful aspect to sleeping through the mess of the day because uh, people are having meetings and sending emails and there's drama meetings. I can sleep through all the meetings. You know, I have meetings every day and they prevent me from having sufficient amount of time for uh, focused work. Mm -hmm. And uh, then I modified my calendar and I said that I'm out of office Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday every day. And I'm having meetings only Monday and Tuesday. Mm -hmm. And that vastly positively influenced my mood that I have literally like a three days for fully focused work. Yeah. So there's better solutions to this problem than staying awake all night. 